How you guys doing? Well, if this is your first video on my channel, welcome. But uh, there's probably more videos you should probably watch before this one. This one I'm going to talk about uh, acquiring tools, being in business for yourself as a handyman, as uh, as anybody, uh, how I do it, um, best practices, all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's get right into it. <clears throat> okay, so there's a couple ways you can go out and buy a tool that you think you're going to need. Um, you can. That's. I mean, that's always the funnest way is to go tool shopping. Obviously, uh, the practice that I've used in the past, basically, if there's a tool, if there's a job that I don't have a tool for, or I don't have, um, you know, I know I, I, the tools that I have aren't the, exactly the most efficient tools. Um, say for like a tile saw, I either go rent one, spend the time. Yeah, it's cheaper, but if you're doing tile work over and over, eventually, if you have your own tool, it's actually going to save you money. Hence, uh, you know dump trailer that I'll be purchasing uh, later on in the in the near future is because it's becoming a point where the money that I charge and you know the profit I bring in um, it'll pay for itself so um, but you got you know over time you got to look at it because you know if I didn't do many bigger jobs if I always stepped if I stayed with the like, smaller jobs uh, then I would never need it then it'd just be a liability um, it would not be an asset to my business so a couple ways I do it uh, and you probably do the same or different um, if there's a job I'll write the tool basically the price of that tool into the estimate so I'll mark the job up say if it's a thousand dollars with the tool that I need to get the job done you know uh, more efficiently is three hundred dollars then it's gonna be a thirteen hundred dollar job and if I get it I get it. if I don't no sweat on me um, you can go you know goes you know to somebody else but and most of the time they say yes, so I collect a first payment slash deposit. I'll go buy that tool to do that job, do the job. Now I have a tool that's paid for, and um, that's basically it. The, the tool is paid for, it's still a write off. You can still deduct it from your income, and now you have that tool. That's basically how I got uh, a lot of my tools. Let's see, what? Let me see here. Oh. Uh, Definitely the uh, whole hog is how I got that tool. Track saw, kind of. There was like four jobs I had lined up. So I knew it was going to save me time. So it's a big purchase, but track saw. Um, not my impacts, nothing like that. Oh, router too. Uh, I knew it, uh, there, was a, there was a job that I knew I needed a uh, router. And I, I just marked that uh, tool's pr uh, purchase price into the uh, estimate. Got approved. Went and bought the tool. Did the job. Now the tool is paid for itself, and now it keeps bringing money into the into the business. So it's an extreme asset. So obviously all tools are assets, but if you have a tool that you buy and it just sits there, doesn't make any money, and you're putting it on a credit card and you're accruing interest, uh, then it's costing you money. So you got to be careful. Don't put tools. Try not to put tools. I've done it before. Trying to put tools on credit card because if you don't pay it off, then interest that that five hundred dollar tool. Will turn into a six hundred dollar tool, seven hundred dollar tool if you keep, you know, making minimum payments. So you don't want to do that. Uh, so another way of accruing tools um, besides marking it into your estimates and your uh, invoices is basically just going and buying a tool. Now, buying a tool on special where you get other tools for free. Um, so, like, uh, I bought this uh, tool bag, and then I'm going to get another bag like this but a little better for free in the mail once I actually send that rebate in so you know stuff like that um, but a table saw I got a 12 amp hour battery and I also got a free 12 amp hour battery um, there's a lot of things like that you buy a blower you get a battery for free um, you know you buy I bought my nailer you get another battery for free you buy a battery kit um, I, I bought a 9 amp hour battery kit and I got a tool for free so I got a, you know another impact that I would want um, you know things like that is how do you accrue tools is you find specials you wait you don't have to have that instant gratification you wait wait for a sale and that way you can get a, a crap load of batteries you know you can you can run it you can get a whole set of uh, tools depending on the amount of money you spend so um, that's another way of uh, how I accrue tools now I'm getting to the point where I mean don't tell my wife but getting to the point where most of the tools that go on special I already either have or I don't need absolutely don't need um, you know like concrete tools you know metal working tools stuff like that so um yeah so i don't get it you know i don't get to go into those crazy cool deals where you buy a, a drill and driver impact kit and then you get a free you know i just don't need the tool so that is 
Um, the two ways that I accrue tools, you can do it as well as a business owner. Um, but obviously you can just obviously go and buy them on Amazon. Uh, try, um, try not to pay retail. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is great. Um, you can always find pretty much any any battery platform you want, 50% off. Um, and then obviously Craigslist, but you know you gotta be careful with those. Make sure you have something to test the products that you're actually purchasing to make sure they work correctly. So uh, that is my way of, acc of accumulating tools. I know I got a couple of questions uh, via email and, and um, uh, YouTube comments here. So that's how I accumulate my tools. I'm just getting them for free. Now I will say, uh, I buy tools, like I bought the chainsaw, uh, just to basically get a free battery that I sold to recoup. You can sell the battery, you know, you can sell them on Marketplace, and you recoup so that $400 chainsaw became like $200 worth of battery because I got a free 12 amp hour battery with it. So, and then that obviously becomes an absolutely no brainer. So, like and subscribe guys, I'll see you on the next video. Um, if this is your first one, go in the uh, video comment, ring the bell. All that good stuff, you know what to do. Talk to you later. Bye.